Hello YouTube and welcome to um, the first episode of my PowerPoint OS series. In this episode I'm going to be uh, demonstrating the first one that I've made. Okay, so basically what this is, is a fully functional uh, operating system all built inside PowerPoint. Which has functional features and uh, it's pretty much just to um, test out new concepts and to demonstrate new um, and to demonstrate just what you can do inside PowerPoint. Okay, so this is the the, the start. This this is where you first come to the program manager. It bears a lot of resemblance to Windows 3.1 from 1993, but uh, as you can see, it has a minimize maximize button, but it, but it minimizes to the tray down there. So this is so this is what you see when you first when you first boot up. You see uh, this in, in the corner here, and you see this minimize button. You see two um, two icons down here. And you see what you can do with these, you can just click and they bring up a handy little window that shows you exactly what you know, exactly what you expect. So if you go to help then you can see what it says. Welcome to Nebula Classic version one point oh nineteen ninety three edition versus internet enabled Nebula system. Design for sixty foot design for sixty mega mega RAM, etc. And with a floppy disk icon, uh well if you have if you have a, a floppy disk um, drive then figuratively you could, you could run them but seeing as it's never been tested you know no no one will ever know so it just takes it out of that so um, the, this is these are the list of programs you can install more programs off, off floppy disks but uh, for now it comes pre-installed with um, four programs what one doesn't one's non-functional because um, yeah that's just how it is okay so uh, right is a write application. You see, you can uh, type out things, and it saves the last thing. That you so if you so if you alter that, then you go back to write. Then you can see that it's saved exactly. Yeah. So we can just exit out of that, and this brings us back to the main menu. If we go to Internet Explorer, then we can just. Uh, Go then. Then we have three buttons, four buttons here. Sorry. Uh, go home, back, and next. And um, if you just go home, then it takes you to Google. And from here, you can never get anywhere. We also have a back button, and a next button, and a back button, and then another home button. And but also, we can type in either just search strings and stuff to uh, to search. But that doesn't sometimes work. Or we can just type in go. But it's a very advanced browser for its time because you can do all sorts of features. Um, and again, this was all built entirely inside PowerPoint. So yep, you can do everything that you would normally hear. So you can watch videos. About uh, I don't know. Let's build him. Hello, lads. Hello, lad. What are we doing? Yep. Uh, so uh, yeah. So let's go home, and then we can just exit out of that by just pressing the X button. Now, if you just want to view the desktop, or you just want it to be, uh, you just don't want this big menu up here, you can just press that minimize button, then it will show you maximize button there. Then, next we have um, command line. Now, this is non functional because there's always a hard disk error uh, for some reason whenever you boot up, but uh, yeah, I I'm still working out how to actually uh, do something like this, like a virtual command prompt inside PowerPoints, but until I can figure out how to do that, it will there will always be an error. So we're just exit out of that. And uh, we will go to the file browser. Now the file browser, you can browse to all the, all the files down here. So if you just press C, um, then this brings you to the C to the C drive. So we can just go to users, then. And we can see all documents and everything. So, and if you, if you try to go to a drive that is not on your computer, some computers have it, some don't. Um, you know, you'll find that it might be unavailable. If you go to A, yes, yeah, that, that's also unavailable. And again, same with G. So we'll just uh, exit out of that. But uh, yeah, you can you can open programs and stuff. Uh, for example, if we go to what is it? 
users bamboli you can open things in the open as windows see that's not that's not important now now let's just go x also what we have here is a minimize well pe well windows users will recognize this as a minimize button but it's not it's a file drop down system so you can click that and this, this brings you a list of, of files yes there, there is a bug where that disappears but uh it will be it will be patched soon but this brings you down to a list of files and uh on this menu, you have shut down, floppy, help, programs, and command. Now, the ones with the arrow next to it are, um, are expandable ones. But uh, yeah, we can just press that to go back, and then we can. For example, if we go to shut, I won't, I won't show that just now. But if we go to floppy, it brings you to that menu that you saw before. If you go to help, it brings you to that that you seen before. If you go to programs, then this brings you to write, Internet Explorer, and files. So. Um, we can just launch any of the programs straight from here, and any it's it still opens the same formats. Okay, so if we go here, and then we go to programs, and then we go to uh, files, then uh, then you can see it it just works exactly the same. It's just a completely different way. Just in case you didn't want, just in case you didn't want to always click it from here. Now this kind of thing, it's this program managers is inspired from Windows 3.1, but these programs are inspired from uh, Windows 1.0 in fact so it's kind of a mix of early Windows it's like a you know but if you go to the that's programs and as you can see it highlights blue whenever you click on it but uh, if you go to command then there's two options here you can go to run or presets uh, if you go to run that, then that just opens the command prompts like you said before but if you go to presets then this shows your list of commands but as I have but as this build is not finished um, it is not entirely it's not done yet all, all these all these broken features for example the bugs will be patched in Nebula Classic 1.0 1 yeah not 1 so if you press dear then this brings you to the uh, to, to the can to a commands prompt window where you can see Everything that's uh, that's on the uh, that's on the system. So as you can see, program manager uh, options and start menu. So these are all the programs: Internet Explorer, right? Command line options. You got help and floppy. And uh, start menu. You have all these different um, file endings. But of course, the .exe is borrowed from Windows, but the uh, others are not actually real, and they have to be made up for the purposes of this. So yeah. If we just press X, then this will bring us back to that command. This will bring us back to that. So this is like the desktop, almost. Um, this this is less the desktop. This is kind of like the, uh, well, uh, this is just the uh, background, if you will, because you'd be uncomfortable just having that encompass the whole screen. So, yeah. So for an op for um, an operating system from 1993, or so it's meant to be, it's pretty. Uh, pretty functional and also completely for the fact that it's all made in powerpoints you know you can do a lot of stuff you can you can create text documents you can uh, browse the internet and um, so for example so if you wanted to check your email you know actually wrong password anyway but uh yeah back so you can check all your emails but um yeah so let's just exit out of that and let's just minimize that so thanks for watching youtube this has been a demonstration of um nebula classic operating system and just to prove that it's made in powerpoint i will show you this uh also i'll just expand this a little bit expand it a little bit there and yeah, so this is all made in PowerPoint. Everything, so you can see all the uh, slides and everything here. So you know, it's, it proves that with the, with, with the developer tab here, it's possible to do all this kind of stuff. But I will show you what to do with this with this menu and stuff in a later tutorial. Thank you for watching YouTube, and bye. Stop.